welcome children this is the computer science ict class session 1 today we are going to see the chapter computer languages we are going to start with first generation computer languages okay the first generation computers are has used has your classroom or as huge as your room of the house can you see the entire box there with so many switch panels inside them these were the computers that were launched first okay these machines are no way related right now to the tabs or the laptops that we use then why should we study about the first generation of computers that's because the first generation computer language is still the one that is understood by the computers the computer does it understand english no does it understand hindi not at all so how does how does a computer understand what a user wants or what human beings need that's why we read about the first generation language all right so what is the link between a first generation language and a first generation computers the first generation language was exclusively mapped for the first generation computers okay so what are these switches all we know is a keyboard or a touchpad what are these switch panels first generation computers had only switches every panel would have switches what what is a human or a person sitting in front of the computer do they will switch on and off for signals for example if i want to switch on a bulb what will i do i just go and switch that on right yes when i switch it on it's considered as a signal and the bulb glows same way i would instruct my computer by switching off one switch switching off on another switch for example you start with Uh, example take this okay a switch of control panel switches here all right now i want to tell the computer to switch off what will i do i'll just switch off that why would a computer like this would need first generation language we would need that language to make the computer understand what we wanted to do yes can you see a lady sitting there and toggling switches what is called as toggling switching on and off a switch is called as toggling if it is on you switch it off it is called as a toggle switch all right so do you see a lady sitting in front and doing that and here also a man is sitting and toggling switches that's how we were able to communicate to the computer to do our work done okay so how did they all work how with what were they all made of the computer first generation computers had something called as vacuum tubes okay the computers in first generation usually use a film called as vacuum tubes what are these vacuum tubes they are something similar to what you find in your light bulbs these are tiny films which will help in communicating what the signals given by the human to the computer inside okay so they were completely manufactured and made work by these vacuum tubes okay when were they launched they were launched by 1951 and they started they started using these kind of uh, computers from 1951 all right and what are these two things the magnetic tapes and magnetic drums yes computers are exclusively used for storing purposes correct yes when we talk about storage we would need something or a device to be inside the computer to help us in storing things yes or no yes similar to your hard disk pen drive those are all external storage devices you have something called internal memories right now in your laptops they say it is 1 terabyte internal memory they give you 16 64 gb internal memory wherein you store things inside computers similarly first generation computers had magnetic tapes and magnetic drums when magnetic tapes and magnetic drums were used it was a very tiny memory space it was just kilobytes okay just kilobytes not even megabytes the ones that we are talking about today all right so the space was very very tiny and the disadvantage of that was when you started using them if the memory space exceeded when you started uh, losing out the memory space what happens was the older memory the older data started getting deleted 
all right so the disadvantage of a magnetic tape was that and magnetic drums were also used for storage and it had a very very small storage space okay now we are going to come to first generation language so that's the chapter all about when you're going to start with learning about languages the first generation language as i already told you is something linked only to the first generation computers all right they are called as machine level programming language why did you call it as a machine level a machine is a simple device that understands instructions from us all we do is just switch on and switch off to make it understand yes similarly computer is also a machine which will understand just a simple switch on and off that's all that's the reason they are called as machine level programming language okay so what else do we know about the language they are grouping of programming languages that means every machine machine level instruction that is zeros ones you switch on switch off all these are instructions so when you group all of them they become a first generation programming language or you call them as machine level language okay all right so the first generation language will be consisting of these things okay what are binary numbers for example by means two so there are going to be just two instructions in a machine language those are zeros and ones okay take an example of the same light bulb when i switch it off it understands it has to switch off so that signal is considered as zero when i want it on i switch it on so that time the bulb consider it as signal 1 so these are the numbers we are talking about as the input instructions in programming language so all the computer can understand is zeros and ones so the first generation computers the switches inside the first generation computers could understand only these two signals okay that is called as the lowest level of language okay why do we call it as the lowest level of language we are humans and we could not understand the zeros and ones imagine you're going to have a set of panel for example i'm going to switch off this switch on switch on switch on switch off again switch off switch on switch off and switch on so these are the set of instructions will i be able to understand them when somebody else reads it no when the other person when i show this to other person will they be able to understand this not at all so this is this would need a complete translation for us but this is the easiest language for machines so they are called as the lowest level of language okay and toggling switches what did we see earlier the switch can be switched off or on so these switch and off and on things are called as toggling so when you do that on switches they are called as toggling switches all right and what are the inputs what is input you give something to the computer a user a human gives something to the computer is called as an input so these inputs for a first generation language is usually binary instructions zeros and ones these are called as the binary numbers or binary instructions to the first generation language all right yes so what did we learn today we learned about the computer languages the first generation computer language and also about how did they work with the first generation computers and the next session we are going to see about the second generation computer languages and the computers